What role does materials science, do the materials that the compute runs upon play in this conundrum that we find ourselves in? Ever since the 1960s, we've been very, very reliant on a material called silicon. And it has been brilliant for us. We wouldn't be having this conversation if it wasn't for silicon chips. And we've pushed that material as hard as we can to deliver better and better applications, whether that's in photonics, whether it's in switching or whether it's in compute. But we are reaching the physical limits of that material. Every material has got its constraints, its performance constraints. And today, we try to create more and more complex devices, particularly chipsets, 3D stacking, heterogeneous integration, to create the performance we want from that material silicon. But we can't change its physical properties. At some point, it reaches its limitation. And as you've seen from the change in Moore's law recently, it is now more, with each generation of silicon chip, is now becoming more expensive to achieve those performance parameters, not just in cost of production, but more expensive in the amount of energy required to run those things.